We're out on the maiden voyage of the fishing trip for the season. John's here. <laughs> Ben's here. Captain John. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Captain John. Thanks, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just uh, heading out now, and we're seeing lots of bass still on their nests, guarding their young. And uh, one of them is right at that boat launch over there, where that guy is. Oh, there goes a bass. Ooh, I'm not sure if you saw him. I'm not sure if you can see it, but now and again you'll see like a bass nest. And they're kind of like where the fish have um, taken away some of the vegetation, secret an area. And they've spawned, and the male sits on the nest if there's still some small fry hanging around, and they guard them from predators like other fish. Gobies are their most big concern at this point. Oh yes, and today I'm uh, wearing my uh, outfit that I got from Elwood Apps. It was nice of them to uh, provide us with UV protection, UV protection, and uh, that was really nice of them. We appreciate it, guys. Thanks. any fish unfortunately we tried we tried to catch fish we think they bite nope we threw lots of different things at them nothing happened what do you think Johnny should have stayed home and did the gardening <laughs> what do you think Ben it was a bust we tried we tried yeah so yeah we're gonna head back and yeah we got rained on for a little while, but oh well. We tried all different kinds of secret spots Johnny had in mind, and we saw sticks floating around. We saw loons, we saw cormorants. Cormorants, yeah, we saw nice calm places in the lake like that. Well, mind the wind. Look how calm it is here. And then, yeah, maybe, maybe maybe we'll go see the water test boy. I'll show you in a minute. So we're just coming up on the water test buoy that's in the water. Some people say buoy. I say buoy. I grew up with buoy. Weather buoy. So it's a. I guess it takes weather readings too, eh? Weather and water water test boy. Yeah. Weather wind in the waves. That's a very big gull. Holy lifted. This is interesting, eh? Now don't get too close because you might run into the anchor line or something. I guess it takes uh, all kinds of weather readings, readings too, like seems to be a anemometer up there. Wind speed. Wind speed. Look at that. Run by satellite too. Solar power collects the accumulation of water. Fish here. Oh my. And there's yeah, fish look here? At, because of that. Oh, of course there's fish here because we didn't fish here. Of course here. there's fish here. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to catch one of the here. No, we can't fish near here. <laughs> they don't trust the fish finder. <laughs> I think it let us all down today. The fish finder. It said there's fish here. We threw everything at them. Bigger. I'm not sure if you can see the surface of the water, but it's so calm, and yet it must be something to do with 
It's not raindrops. It's like fish jumping, minnows, whatever it is. They're pretty strange. It's pretty strange. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, maybe some herring are here jumping. We're not really sure, but it's pretty cool. And it's not raindrops. Now look, it's just uh, really weird. Oh my goodness. He's talking about people rolling fish. Lots of things in the water. It's beautiful though. It's just gorgeous. sure you can see the cormorants but uh, here's a couple right here and they're uh, landing in the trees over here not like there is a cormorant problem or anything but uh, yeah it's kind of getting out of hand it's kind of getting out of hand them all. Soon they'll uh, really be a problem. There'll be um, lots of feces in the water. There'll be lots of feces on those trees. trees and the trees will be dying. And it almost looks like some of them are now. Smell you can smell it. smell it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it would be... Um, very interesting for people to start oiling eggs here and things like that, but uh, there is supposed to be, um, you know, an open season on these guys pretty soon. So, here's quite a bit of them. Can you see them all in the tree? Put them over here. I will. You see them? They're pooping. See? They just pooped. That's all they do is poop, poop, poop. They're all in the trees over here. They're going to have this island wrecked in no time. I don't know why no one knows about this. But, you know, Everybody I'm hoping to uh, raise a w little bit of awareness here. They've already killed some trees over here. I can't believe they're on strawberry as well. Well, they have their nesting grounds just like everything else. But they're going to slowly take over this island like they have in... Um, Kuchiching already. This is Goffet Island we're talking about near Atherley, Ontario, Canada. See the little nests they have up in the tree? They have little nests up in the tree. Well, big I nests, I guess. Right <laughs> Johnny's like, oh boy. Open season. Oh, yeah. And you don't think food. we have a cormorant problem, huh? Look at them all out there. We never used to have any. There no. was none here. There was none here a few years, years ago. ago. And, you know, I don't buy that they are indigenous to this lake. They're not indigenous. No. They're from China. You know? It's disgusting. Ooh, big seagull there. But oh, 
All you can smell is bird dew. Oh yeah. It's gross. They're gonna have this lake just messed right up. This end of the lake. We'll see one little fish. There's all kinds of them. Here. There's all kinds of them there all used over. There's all kinds of little fish. You'd see little fish swimming along here. Now there's zero. Yeah. What do you see now? Algae. You see lots of algae and nutrient in the water. And we're wondering why our sports fishermen, fish, our sports fishery is dying. No wonder. So, anyway, I hope you guys can write letters to your MPs, your MPPs, your municipal governments, conservation authorities, but Ministry of Natural Resources, anyone you think could help. We really need to get rid of these guys. Let me look at them. Their population has gotten way out of hand. They have no predators. They have no predators. No joke. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't believe them. Oh yeah. They dump pretty good too. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. We gave it our best shot, and that's about it for today. We'll get out soon in the boat, but this is the maiden voyage, so yeah. We got a few things uh, planned coming up for fishing, so. Uh, Talk to you guys soon, eh?